Today we are profiling our Yes, Yes, Yes frilly curtain filly that we purchased from the English Classic Sale for $155,000 from the draft of Bell River Thoroughbreds. The filly ticked all the boxes for us. She is by absolute speed stallion Yes, Yes, Yes who only had eight career starts for four wins and three seconds. A group two winner at two, group one placed in the Golden Rose behind Bivouac, and the 2019 The Everest winner in record-breaking time. More impressively, he was the only three-year-old in the field, beating world-class sprinters in Santa Ana Lane, Nature Strip, and classic legend, just to name a few. The yes, 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 frilly curtain filly is an early foal. She's out of a precocious two-year-old winning Mossman mare, and she hails from a lovely sprinting middle distance female family. Adrian, she's a big, strong filly with a very good idea, and she's just come to the end of her first preparation here at Tullick Lodge, where she completed three-quarter pace work, over 600 metres, and has been given plenty of education at the barriers. How did she handle herself over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I thought she was really excellent in her first preparation. Um, certainly most most impressed. And um, you know, I, I'm glad because we were desperate to get a yes, yes, yes uh, throughout the sales season. Uh, I remember before even going up to Magic Millions, uh, I had the opportunity to have a look around Coolmore Stud uh, and I was given a private inspection of yes, yes, yes by uh, with Colin Santry. Um, he's one of the best in the business at, at what he does. Uh, and he's got such faith and, and belief in, in this horse as a, as a stay and, and, and how he's going to make it. Uh, and, and I guess it's sort of sometimes easy. Um, if you if forget, uh, I guess by the time they get to the stud and their progeny come around, sometimes it's very easy to forget how good of a race horse these, some of these stallions were. And when you sort of really think back, he profiles up so well. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, you know, just from even sort of from a training perspective, you know how hard it is to get a three year old. Uh, from the Golden Rose into a race like the Everest, just even to get it in there, let alone to win it and win it in the in the manner and the fashion in which he did. And I guess since he's done that, we've, we've just seen how uh, big of an influence that particular race the Everest has, has had. So, um, you know, I think he's a great chance of staying. And so, walking away from the farm that day, I was absolutely sold that that horse, uh, yes, 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 was going to make it as a stay and set out on a mission to find one, um, at least one throughout the year. And this is. Yeah, uh, fortunate enough, the, the one and only one that we we landed on. So we, we certainly had a lot of belief in her going into the into the system and into training. Um, and I, I feel she's sort of really backed that up with with what we've seen so far. She's been um, she's been very straightforward, um, got a great uh, willing attitude towards her, uh, just a very forward going filly, very much what you'd sort of expect uh, and hope that the breed can can produce. So, um, she's just gone out for a short spell now. She couldn't have done any more in that sort of first education and preparation that she's had through the stable. It's given her a nice, really nice foundation to uh, build off and, and go forward on. And as I said, I'm really excited. I can't wait to get her back in next preparation, really put her under a little bit more pressure, ask her a few more questions in, in terms of sort of trying to get her to those trials and races because she's certainly got the physique to be able to handle it um, and, and the constitution, what we've seen off, off this first campaign. I think first season sires are an interesting strategic uh, play for the stable, uh, Adrian and Claudia. I know it's been really successful for for TJ, for Gay, and, and now for you too, Adrian. You know, just targeting um, the first crop horses with the right profiles. We must remember that in their first crop, it's where the, the stallions often get their, their best opportunity they ever receive at stud um, until they do become proven. And that's because they're the hot new thing on the scene. They're just off the track. People remember how good they were. And from a commercial point of view, breeders love supporting them because they love selling yearlings um, by, by the stallions first season because they are in demand. Um, so it's a, it's a, you know, if you can find the right horse too early, um, you can ride on the back of that success and often pay a lot less than you have to down the track. I mean, I know. Yeah, you just have to look at uh, in recent years, the, probably the two young up and coming stallions, Morris and Russian Revolution. Um, you know, you were sharp enough to be onto them early. I think you've trained two of Morris's six stakes winners to date. Uh, Russian Revolution, you've trained four of his um, first eight stakes winners, both um, stallions on the rise in terms of service fee, in terms of average yielding price. So um, you've done really well there. And yes, 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 I think just fits that profile of what, um, you know, makes it in Australia in terms of the stallion ranks. He was an elite speed horse. I mean, you have to be 
the best sprinter in Australia to win the Everest, basically. Uh, you mentioned before and touched on before, Claudia has high strike rate, you know, eight starts for four wins, three seconds, um, all at sort of elite, elite levels. Uh, I think that tells you everything you need to know about how gifted he was as an athlete uh, over the short courses. And, um, you know, something that our leading sides like Reduce Choice and Snitzel and Vinny and Ritten Tycoon and Fastnet Rock and Lonro, um, one thing, you know, from my work with Newgate that we've sort of touched on with the one commonality between all those leading stallions is, is precocity, you know, um, proper um, two-year-old form, three golden slipper. All those horses I've mentioned have won slipper lead-ups. Um, and, of course, yes, 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 did that himself too, winning the Todman. Um, this filly, again, as Claudia touched on, out of a really good running mare, she won a Brisbane Metro race on debut with a two-year-old contested multiple stakes races at three, was fourth in the mode stakes. So love that about her. But uh, most of all, you know, you have to believe it uh, when you see it. And I think uh, if you can see behind me there, she was just a filly that really grabbed us. She's a highest rated, yes, 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 um, first crop yielding uh, of 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 um for all of us for adrian for gay for claudia and myself she was the highest rating yes 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 uh yelling all year and uh we had to have her and i thought she was just fantastic buying at one hundred and fifty five thousand. really been pleased to see uh that she's doing so well in her first preparation there at tulloch lodge i've been loving the video footage coming through she was here very light on her feet um high quality filly as i mentioned and i've put a lot of friends and and friends of friends into this filly. So I, I really hope she um, yeah, delivers on, on all fronts um, for us. So yeah, really exciting filly going forward. And again, I'll just say again, extremely well priced uh, given the market and given her profile. This filly is all speed. Dad was fast and early. Mum was fast and early. And there's every chance we will see her at the races pre-Christmas with the scope to train on at three. There is only 20% available. So be quick please get in touch with the sales team for further information.